the time of the show, Jamie Kennedy will be here and uh, Gavin Rossdale will be here. You know our first guest from the movie Sin City, Grindhouse and Rent, among many others. And if you saw her this past weekend, congratulations. You played a key role in making Eagle Eye the number one movie in the country. Please say hello to Rosario Dawson. <laughs> Congratulations on the uh, big success of the movie. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I think it goes to prove that there are a lot of paranoid people in this country looking for something to attach themselves oh, to. Oh, yeah. And I I'm, I'm have to say, we really capitalize on that. You're not going to walk out any less scared. I think for different reasons, though. They kind of, the trailer grips you going, this is about terrorism and what's going on. And then it just really turns in a really good way. And I think you're we're walking out of the you know, movie with wanting to take your battery out of your cell phone and wondering about governmental responsibility and technology and does it work for us or against us. It's, it's Not pretty a date intense. movie then, I, I'm guessing. No, it is very much so. <laughs> it is very much so. But, you know, we put a lot of our information on the Internet. We, we, we buy everything. We put our Social Security number, our credit card numbers, you know, our watch. If you have a security system in your house, they can listen in on you. Like, it does kind of feed into a different kind of paranoia, I think. You're going to... Yeah. It'll be like Jaws was, people getting people out of the water. I think it's going to make people a little wary about, you know, sort I know, of I've got to stop appearing new to my webcam. <laughs> I have to make a note of that. Now, you, um, you've um, you been involved in politics lately, haven't you? Yes. Well, kind of in politics, but you've been encouraging people to vote. Yeah, no, I, I have a voting organization called Voto Latino that I co-founded four years ago. And, um, you know, it was really amazing. You know, politics are really, and, you know, people are really interested in them right now. So much so that on the first Friday, actually, when the movie opens, we had a 25% jump in sales on the Saturday afterwards, which just shows the power of the debates. People were staying home and not going to the movies oh, and yeah, going to like check it 50 out. 50-something million people went watch the debate. So yeah. you will encourage Latinos who are not registered to vote yes. to register to voto, as it is. Voto. In. <laughs> Guillermo, are you registered to voto? Yeah, Guillermo. Yes. And would you, you like to be in our PSA we're shooting on Saturday? Yes, would he you? would. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, he would. <laughs> We're shooting, we're shooting our next, we had like a fake telenovela series that we did, four of, that Wilma Valderrama directed. Oh. And it's like all of us playing like this Latin family on a fake TV show. And we all speak with Spanish accents. And like the big major drama is the fact that he's not registered to vote. And it's like all really overly dramatic and overdone. And this one is going to be a musical that we're shooting on Saturday, which I think that I co-wrote my friend David Atchison, who I do the comic book with. Really? Wow. So I, I think people are going to really like Guillermo it. Guillermo is a terrible singer, but <laughs> we could clap in the background or something like that. Right, Guillermo? Yes. It would be great. And you were 